Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the third part of my four part question. So let's get into it. So in this in this case the question was what specific companies would you seriously set your sights on if you were a developer looking to get into the industry and why? Well, the short answer is that I can't give you specific companies like oh you should apply to that company or that company but I can give you the type of company that you should apply to and I will give you the reason why. So I will make an argument and the argument that I will make is that your first and foremost objective as a software developer is trying to break into IT is first and foremost to get the foot in the door. That is the most important thing. There are so many people out there, me myself included, who will say like very specific companies are better than other companies and this is true. But none of that matters if you don't get the job. And I'm very sorry to say that that is the roughest part of software development, hands down, when you're a junior developer at the very least, to get the first job. Because your value is basically nothing, but it does get a lot better. I promise, It's I've said this before, it's like a club. It really is. It really, really is like a club. Once you're on the inside, the whole world changes for you. But when you're the out, on the outside, you're basically out in the cold until you can prove that it's worth letting you in. Once you do that, everything changes. So, to, so that's the first thing. That's the absolute most important thing that you can prioritize. Make sure to get the foot in the door. The second priority is, if at all possible, the first thing is more important, but the second thing is get into the right company. What is the right company? Well, I will tell you now that generally a mid-sized to large company is a very good environment for a junior developer. The reason is not because it's that company is necessarily going to be more fulfilling or better or something like that. There are so many, so many exceptions to this rule. So that's why I can't just with a straight face tell you that you should only try to get a job at a fan company or like a big IT company or something like that because it's just not going to be, uh, be uh, give you what you need. What you are looking for if that makes sense, is a company that has enough maturity so that you can take the time to actually learn. I hope that makes sense to you. It doesn't matter if it's like the, one of the largest corporations in the world or a company that with like, I don't know, a few dozen offices or one single office, if it's big enough. And when I say big enough, I mean that they have real software teams. They actually work with teams. They have stakeholders, and they work in in uh, like in a fashion that is with the w which is what reflects most of the industry today. And that usually is an agile workflow or something like that, and software teams with product owners and autonomous teams etc etc there's like there's tons of stuff that we can go into to identify a company that does this well but that is what you're looking for and it doesn't really matter like if there's a vast difference in size of the company as long as they're doing that thing because once you have found yourself such a company they will give you basic training and basic training is the thing that you desperately need as a fresh junior developer. You need to learn the ropes, the basics of the industry, and you learn that in pretty much any, it doesn't really matter which company it is as long as they work in roughly the same way as everybody else, because most companies, trust me, even Google, perform a lot of the same stuff that everybody else is doing. It's not like one company is doing necessarily, sometimes it is, but most of the time people are just kind of doing the same thing in different ways, of course, but there it's still fairly fairly much uh, uh, the same uh, concepts and once you've gone through you've gone through that you can have a look at other sorts of companies you can of course also completely ignore what I'm saying now and go directly into a startup or some very small company the reason why I warn you about that a little bit is not because it can't be great we have developers at my startup that are doing just fine but we also take care of them quite a lot like there's a they they are and we've had some of our juniors have just quit because they can't keep up 
they don't feel like they have time to learn anything because we are in constant delivery mode and that's usually the way it goes at smaller companies if you join a smaller company I mean when I was at my uh, like uh, I used to work at a really big company like there was it was almost boring to come into work I could literally I remember a one period of time where I could sit there and watch YouTube pretty much the entire day or I usually watch the tutorials on coding and things so hey but I could do that because like there was nothing to do like there was like every like we were blocked by something or so forth and like they moved at the snail's pace and that is super boring when you know everything and it's not going to be fun for for a long time but it gives you the time to really mature into your role as a software developer when you're fucking solid on the basics then you can deal with all the stress because if you go into a startup it's delivery like that all the time you don't have time to just sit around and do nothing you really need to push it and if you think if in the right startup that can still work out great we as i said have i have juniors that just went directly into a startup and it worked fine i'm just giving you the mindset you need to find an environment where you get to work with senior experiences and get to learn the basics and ideally it should be a company where you have the time to actually learn that and that's very individual it's very individual so it's not like there's no way I can say that that company's gonna give you that or that company's gonna give you that you're gonna have to figure that out by yourself so what I want you to take away from this is that if you're looking for a company that's gonna be your first good entry point into the IT industry what you're looking for is number one a company that will hire you because that is more important than anything else trust me I I know this I by now I have talked to several hundred of hundreds of people and junior developers that have this issue of getting into the industry and this story is always the same nobody wants to hire me that's the far first thing if nobody wants to hire you it doesn't matter what I tell you number one second thing is try to get into a company where the pace is comfortable for you and that where you get to work with peers you have co-workers with more senior ex profiles than you that you can learn from that is going to be the absolute best environment for you and that doesn't have to be a big corporation it usually is no, it's more common that the bigger companies move a little bit slower than the startups but it can work in a startup as well it all comes down to the specifics of that company and how they do work. Have a great day.